Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Monday, September 27th, 2021. Big show today for a Monday. NFL recap from the weekend. Same with college football. Look ahead to Monday Night Football for tonight. Major League Baseball recap the games from the weekend. Look ahead to tonight. WNBA playoffs will recap the games from the weekend. Major League Soccer, the Ryder Cup, NASCAR, News and Notes, my best pet of the day. And Dancing with the Stars is on tonight, too. But I don't think we'll have time for that. So we'll just uh, talk about that on tomorrow's show. All right, we'll start with the NFL from the weekend as we will go over the results from Sunday and look ahead to tonight's game. Bills over to Washington professional football team, 43-21. Buffalo is 2-1. Washington is 1-2. Josh Allen looking like the Josh Allen of old. 32-43, 358 yards and four touchdowns. Taylor Heineke, 14-24, 212 yards, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Browns over the Bears, 26-6. Browns 2-1, Bears 1-2. Baker Mayfield, 19-31, 246 yards and a touchdown. Justin Fields, 6-20, 68 yards. Yikes. Ravens over the Lions, 19-17 on a 66-yard Field goal by Justin Tucker to end the game. Baltimore's 2 1, Detroit's 0 3. Lamar Jackson, 16 31, 287 yards of touchdown. The pick, Jared Goff, 22 30, 217 yards. Titans over the Colts, 25 16. The Titans, 2 1, Colts 0 3. Ryan Tannehill, 18 27, 197 yards, three touchdowns and two picks. And Carson Wentz, 19 37, 194 yards. Chargers over the Chiefs, 30 24. The Chargers are 2 1, KC 1 2. Justin Herbert is. Best game, I think, of his career. He was just fabulous. 26-38, 281 yards and four touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes, 27-44, 260 yards, three touchdowns and two interceptions. Saints over the Patriots, 28-13. The Saints, 2-1. The Patriots, 1-2. Jameis Winston, 13-21, 128 yards and two touchdowns. Mac Jones, 38-51, 270 yards, a touchdown and three interceptions. Falcons over the Giants, 17-14 on a 40-yard Game-winning field goal as time expires buys um, the kicker, Young Ho Koo. Falcons 1-2, and two, Giants 0-3. Oh Matt Ryan, 27-36, 343 yards and two touchdowns. And Daniel Jones, 24-35, 266 yards. Bengals over the Steelers, 24-10. The Bengals 2-1, Pittsburgh 1-2. Joe Burrow, 14 of 18, 172 yards, three touchdowns in the pick. Ben Roethlisberger, 38 of 58, 318 yards, a touchdown, and two picks. Cardinals over the Jags, 31 19. Cardinals 3 0, Jacks below in three. Kyler Murray, 28 of 34, 316 yards in the pick. Trevor Lawrence, 22 of 34, 219 yards, a touchdown, and two picks. Broncos over the Jets, 26 to 0. Denver, 3 0. Jacksonville, or I'm sorry, New York, 0 3. Teddy Bridgewater, 19-25, 233 yards. Zach Wilson, 19-35, 160 yards and two interceptions. Raiders over the Dolphins, 31-28 in overtime on a game-ending field goal by Daniel Carlson as time expires. Las Vegas, 3-0, Miami, 1-2. Derek Carr, 26-43, 386 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Jacoby Brissett, 32-49, 215 yards. Rams over the Buccaneers, 34-24. Rams 3-0, Bucks 2-1. Matt Stafford, 27-38, 343 yards and four touchdowns in what, in my opinion, was the biggest regular season start of his career. And Tom Brady, 41-55, 432 yards and a touchdown. Vikings over the Seahawks, 30-17. The Vikings 1-2, Seattle 1-2. Kirk Cousins, 30-38, 323 yards and three touchdowns. Russell Wilson, 23-32, 298 yards and a touchdown. And the Packers over the 49ers, 30 to 28. The Packers, 2 and 1. The 49ers, 2 and 1. Aaron Rodgers, 23 at 33, 261 yards and two touchdowns. Jimmy Garoppolo, 25 of 40, 257 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. All right, looking ahead to tonight's game, May 15, ESPN, Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, and Lewis Riddick on the call. Monday Night Football, the Eagles and the Cowboys. My projection is Cowboys by a whopping 10 and a half. Total forty seventy five. Um, I need to see if I need to make a potential adjustment here, and I 
do here. Um, Cowboys 10 is my line. Total 40.75. Meanwhile, on FanDuel, it is Cowboys by 3 total, 51.5. Um... I love the Cowboys minus the points. That is going to be the last pick of the Fab Five for the week. I love the under as well. But I feel much better about the Cowboys and their potential to score against this Eagles defense. And for the Eagles defense to regress than I do about the total going under. So... I'm going to lay the three with the Cowboys on Monday Night Football against the Philadelphia Eagles as the podcast play of the game. All righty, now we'll move on to college football. We will recap the results from last night and um, I should say Saturday and Friday, not last night. Um. Thinking of NFL a little bit. Um, So, without further ado, here we go. Um, Friday night. Charlotte over Middle Tennessee, 42-39. Wake over Virginia, 37-17. By the way, Charlotte, 3-1. Middle, 1-3. Wake, 4-0. Virginia, 2-2. Syracuse over Liberty, 24-21. Syracuse, 3-1. Liberty, 3-1. Syracuse kicked the the winning field goal as time expired. Number 22, Fresno State over UNLV, 38-30. Fresno 4-1, UNLV 0-4. Saturday, number 2, Georgia over Vandy, 62-0. Georgia 4-0, Vandy 1-3. Number 6, Penn State over Villanova, 38-17. Penn State 4-0, Villanova 3-1. Number 12, Notre Dame over number 18, Wisconsin, 41-13. Notre Dame 4-0, Wisconsin 1-2. LSU over Mississippi, 28-25. LSU 3-1, Mississippi 2-2. BC over Missouri, 41-34. In overtime, BC 4-0, Mizzou 2-2. Central Michigan over FIU, 31-27. Central, 2-2. Two two, FIU, 1-3. Pitt over New Hampshire, 77-7. Pitt, 3-1. New Hampshire, 3-1. Virginia Tech over Richmond, 21-10. Vatek, 3-1. Richmond, 2-2. Two two. Bowling Green upsets over... Oh, wait, no. Minnesota's not ranked. Bowling Green upsets Minnesota, 14-10. Bowling Green, 2-2. Two two, Minnesota, 2-2. Two two. Northwestern over Ohio, 35-6. Northwestern, 2-2. Two two, Ohio, 0-4. Oh, SMU over TCU, 42-34. SMU 4-0, TCU 2-1. Texas over Texas Tech 70 to 35. Texas 3-1, Texas Tech 3-1. Temple over, over Wagner 41-7. Temple 2-2, Wagner 0-4. Army over Miami of Ohio 23-10. Army 4-0, Miami of Ohio 1-3. Boise over Utah State 27-3. Boise 2-2, Utah State 3-1. Miami over Central Connecticut 69-0. Miami 2-2, Central 1-3. Number 17, Coastal Carolina over UMass, 53-3. Coastal 4-0, UMass 0-4. Western Michigan over San Jose State, 23-3. Western 3-1, San Jose State 2-2. Toledo over Ball State, 22-12. Toledo 2-2, Ball 1-3. Eastern Michigan over Texas State, 59-21. Eastern 3-1, Texas State 1-3. Northern Illinois over Maine, 41-14. Northern Illinois 2-2, Maine 1-3. Utah over Washington State, 24-13. Utah 2-2, Washington State 1-3. Number 5, Iowa over Colorado State, 24-14. Iowa 4-0, Colorado State 1-3. Number 16, Arkansas upsets. Number 7, Texas A&M, 20-10. Arkansas 4-0, Texas A&M, 3-1. Baylor upsets. Number 14, Iowa State, 31-29. Baylor 4-0, Iowa State 2-2. Purdue over Illinois, 13-9. Purdue 3-1, Illinois 1-4. Maryland over Kent State, 37-16. Maryland, 4-0. Kent, 1-3. Wyoming over UConn, 24-22. Wyoming, 4-0. UConn, 0-5. San Diego State over Towson, 48-21. San Diego State, 4-0. Towson, 1-3. NC State upsets number 9. Clemson, 27-21. In double overtime, NC State, 3-1. Clemson, 2-2. UTSA over Memphis, 31-28. UTSA, 4-0. Memphis, 3-1. Louisiana over... I'm sorry, Louisville over Florida State, 31-23. Louisville 3 1, Florida State 0 4. Number 19, Michigan over Rutgers 2013. Michigan 4 0, Rutgers 3 1. 
number 23, Auburn over Georgia South or Georgia State, 34 to 24. Auburn 3 and 4, Georgia State 1 and 3. Duke over Kansas 52-33. Duke 3 and 1, Kansas 1 and 3. Tulsa over Arkansas State 41-34. Tulsa 1 and 3, Arkansas State 1 and 3. Number 24 UCLA over Stanford 35-24. UCLA 3 uh 3 and 1, Stanford 2 and 2. Buffalo over Old Dominion 35-34. Buffalo 2 and 2, Old Dominion 1 and 3. East Carolina over Charleston Southern 31-28. East Carolina 2 and 2, Charleston Southern 1 and 2. Louisiana over Georgia Southern 28-20. Louisiana three and one, Georgia Southern one and three. Rice over Texas Southern forty eight thirty four. Rice one and three, Southern zero oh and three. Number eleven, Florida over Tennessee thirty eight fourteen. Florida three and one, Tennessee two and two. Number twenty, Michigan State over Nebraska twenty three twenty in overtime. Michigan State four and zero, oh, Nebraska two and three. Oklahoma State over number twenty five, Kansas State thirty one twenty. Oklahoma State four and zero, oh, Kansas State three and one. Kentucky over South Carolina sixteen ten, Carolina four and zero. Oh. I'm sorry, Kentucky 4 0, Carolina 2 and 2. Louisiana Tech over North Texas 24 17. Louisiana Tech 2 and 2, UNT 1 and 3. Houston over Navy 28 20. Houston 3 1, Navy 0 and 3. Number 1, Alabama over Southern Miss 63 14. Alabama 4 0, Southern Miss 1 and 3. Number 4, Oklahoma over West Virginia 16 13. As time expired on a field goal, um, Oklahoma 4 0, West Virginia 2 and 2. Number 10, Arc. Or, Number 10, Ohio State over Akron, 59-7. Ohio State, 3-1. Akron, 1-3. Georgia Tech over number 21, North Carolina, 45-22. Georgia Tech, 2-2. North Carolina, 2-2. Air Force over FAU, 3-1-7. Air Force, 3-1. FAU, 2-2. UAB over Tulane, 28-21. UAB, 3-1. Tulane, 1-3. Indiana over Western Kentucky, 33-31. Indiana, 2-2. Western Kentucky, 1-2. Yale Monroe over Troy, 28-16. Yale Monroe, 2-1. Troy, 2-2. Hawaii over New Mexico State, 41-21. Hawaii, 2-3. New Mexico State, 1-4. UTEP over New Mexico, 20-13. UTEP, 3-1. New Mexico, 2-2. Washington over Cal, 31-24 in overtime. Washington, 2-2. Cal, 1-3. Number 15, BYU over South Florida, 35-27. BYU, 4-0. USF, 1-3. Number 3, Oregon over Arizona, 41-19. Oregon, 4-0. Arizona, 0-4. Oregon State over USC, 45-27. Oregon State, 3-1. USC, 2-2. Two and, two. and last but not least, Arizona State over Colorado, 35-13. Arizona State, 3-1. And, and Colorado, 1-3. and three. All right, now we'll move on to Major League Baseball. We will go over the results from the weekend, and we will look ahead to the games today. We'll start on Friday night. Padres over the Braves, 6-5-7 and seven on a resumption of a suspended game from July 21st. Cardinals over the Cubs, 8 to 5 and 7. Yanks over the Red Sox, 8 3 3. Phils over the Pirates, 8 to 6. Rangers over the O's, 8 to 5. White Sox over the Indians, 1 nothing. Royals over the Tigers, 3 to 1. Rays over the Marlins, 8 nothing. Reds over the Nats, 8 to 7 11 on a walk off infield single by Arquidez Aquino. Cardinals over the Cubs, 12 to 4. Double letter game 2. Brewers over the Mets, 5 to 1. Giants over the Rocks, 7 to 2. Twins over the Blue Jays, 3-1. Mariners over the Angels, 6-5. A's over the Astros, 14-2. Dodgers over the D-backs, 4-2. And the Braves over the Padres, 4-zip. Saturday's result. Cardinals over the Cubs, 8-5. Phils over the Pirates, 3-0. A's over the Astros, 2-1. Yanks over the Red Sox, 5-3. Tigers over the Royals, 5-1. Rays over the Marlins, 7-3. Orioles over the Rangers, 3-2. Brewers over the Mets, 2-1. Blue Jays over the Twins, 6-1. Reds over the Nats, 7-6. Braves over the Padres, 10-8 and 10. Indians over the White Sox, 6-0. D-backs over the Dodgers, 7-2. Giants over the Rockies, 7-2. And the Angels over the Mariners, 14-1. Sunday. Royals over the Tigers, 2-1. Pirates over the Phils, 6-0. Rangers over the O's, 7-4. White Sox over the Indians, 5-2. Rays over the Marlins, 2-3. Reds over the Nats, 9-2. Brewers over the Mets, 8-4. Blue Jays over the Twins, 5-2. Cards over the Cubs, 4-2. For their 16th straight win. Giants over the Rocks, 6-2. A's over the Astros, 4-3. Mariners over the Angels, 5-1. Braves over the Padres, 4-3. Dodgers over the D-backs, 3-0. And the Yanks over the Red Sox, 6-3. To complete the sweep. Only five games today, which is amazing. Three matinee makeup games and two night games. 
First game, makeup game from September 22nd. The White Sox and the Tigers. Dallas Keuchel and Matt Manning. I assume the White Sox are favored here, even though all they're playing for is um, seeding. And they're minus 144. The Tigers are plus 122. Over under 10. Over is minus 106. Under is minus 114. White Sox minus 1F is plus 104. Tigers plus 1F is minus 125. I'm taking under 10 minus 114. That is a high total. Pirates Reds. Makeup day from September 22nd. Connor Overton and Revere San Martin. Reds minus 166. Pirates plus 140. Over under 9.5. Over is minus 105. Under is minus 115. Pirates plus 1F is minus 138. Reds minus 1F is plus 115. At where things stand right now, the Reds are still in the wild card hunt. But barely. Um, every The only teams that are still alive in the National League in terms of uh, non-playoff locks are Philadelphia and Cincinnati, and even Atlanta, for that matter. They're not really a lock. Um, but that said, um, I kind of like Pittsburgh. It looks like the cop that uh, said Martin has not pitched yet. This is his debut. Um, thinking about Pittsburgh, but I like the over 9.5 minus 105 a little bit better. Makeup game from September 22nd between the Royals and the Indians. Jackson Cower and Cal Quantrill. Um, Indians minus 178. Royals plus 150. Over under 9.5. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 114. Royals plus 1.5 is minus 126. Indians minus 1.5 is plus 105. I'm going to take the under because Quantrill's just been incredible this year. He's really had a breakout year for the Indians. 8.30, Nats, Rockies. Josiah Gray and Herman Marquez. Rocks minus 176. Nats plus 148. Over under 11.5. Overs minus 108. Unders minus 112. Nats plus 1.5 is minus 125. Rocks minus 1.5 is plus 104. I'm going to go with another under. I think Herman Marquez is a little bit better than that total, even though the game's in Denver. And last but not least, 10 o'clock, the A's and the Mariners in what is an elimination series in a way. Cole Irvin... Chris Flexen, where things stand right now. They're a game apart from each other. And Seattle's two back, Oakland's three back of the wild card. Um, it, um, so this, to me, is an elimination series. Mariners are slight favorites, minus 118. A's are even money over under 8.5. Over is minus 106, under is minus 114. A's plus 1.5 is minus 205. Mariners minus 1.5 is plus 168. Um... I'm going to go with Seattle, minus 118. I think that's fair enough of a price. They're playing better than Oakland right now. I mean, you got to wonder the future of Bob Melvin at this point. So I'm going to lay the minus 118 with Seattle against the Athletics for tonight. All right, the WNBA playoffs. Uh, we'll go over the results from the weekend. Um, only two games yesterday. Um, Mercury over the Storm, eighty five eighty, and overtime the Mercury. Um, with the big road win there. Um, Brittany Griner, twenty three points, sixteen boards, the lead Phoenix. And then Seattle, Katie Lou Samuelson, eighteen points. For the Storm, what was a fabulous playoff game? And then the Sky over the Lynx, eighty nine seventy six. So both road teams getting the wins. To advance to the conference finals. Um, Courtney Vandersloot at 19 for Chicago with 5 assists. Ariel Powers, 24 points and 4 assists for the Lynx. The conference finals, it was really the semifinals, begin on Tuesday with the Game 1s. And we will preview and pick them on the podcast tomorrow. All right, Major League Soccer. We will go over the results from the weekend and um we'll start with Saturday um 
Philly over Atlanta, 1-0. New England over Orlando, 2-1. Columbus over Club Football Montreal, 2-1. D.C. United over Cincinnati, 4-2. Colorado and Toronto, 0-0 draw. Minnesota over Houston, 2-0. Red Bulls over NYCFC, 1-0. San Jose over LAFC, 2-0. Vancouver over Dallas, 1-0. And Portland over Salt Lake, 6-1. And yesterday's results. Chicago, Nashville, 0-0 draw. Seattle over KC, 2-1, and Austin over the LA Galaxy, 2-0. All right, so there's not games again until Wednesday, so um, we will preview and pick the Wednesday games on the Wednesday podcast. All right, now I want to talk about the Ryder Cup in golf from the weekend. Um, I'm just going to discuss how it went. And, um, we will go over the results as USA wins again over Europe, um, the Friday matches um US was up 3 to 1 over Europe and the lone European duo to win on Friday was John Rahm and Sergio Garcia over Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth. And then Dustin Johnson and Kamariko defeated Victor Hovland and Paul Casey. Brooks Kapka and Danny Berger defeated uh Lee Westwood and Matthew Fitzpatrick. And Patrick Cantlay and Xander Shoffley defeated Rory McIlroy and Ian Poulter. And then the afternoon four balls. Johnson and Shoffley defeated Casey and Weisberger. DeChambeau and, and, Sh- and Scheffler and Rahm and Hatton halved. Tony Finau and Harry English defeated... Rory McIlroy and Shane Lowry, and then um, Justin Thomas and Patrick Cantlay halved with Lee Fleetwood and Victor Hovland. Saturday's matches, the morning, Raman Garcia beat Kepka and Berger again, and then Johnson and Marie would defeated Casey and Hatton. Thomas and Spieth defeated Hovland and Weisberger, and Shoffley and Cantlay defeated Westwood and Fitzpatrick. Afternoon four balls, Lowry and Hatton over... English and Finau, Rahm and Garcia over Kepka and Spieth, Scheffler and DeChambeau over Fleetwood and Hovland, and Johnson and Mariko over Poulter and McElroy. And after Saturday, it was 11 to 5 USA. And then Sunday's singles, um, Rory McElroy over Xander Shoffley, Patrick Kelly over Shane Lowry, Scotty Scheffler over John Rahm, Bryson DeChambeau over Sergio Garcia, Victor Hovland and Colin Mariko Haft. Dustin Johnson over Paul Casey. Brooks Kepko over Burned Weisberger. Ian Poulter over Tony Finau. Justin Thomas over Tyrell Hatton. Lee Westwood over Harry English. Tommy Fleetwood and Jordan Spieth half. And Daniel Berger over Matt Fitzpatrick. And overall, 19-9 USA came out on top over Europe. All right, now I'm going to recap the NASCAR races from the weekend. We will start with the truck series results from Friday night in Vegas. And your winner was Christian X. Second, Ben Rhodes. Third, Matt Kraft. And fourth, Johnny Sauter. Fifth, Todd Gilliland. Fifth. Or I'm sorry, that was fifth was Todd Gilliland. Sixth was Stuart Friesen. Seventh was Grant Effinger. Eighth was Wayne Austin Wayne South. Ninth was Ryan Truex. 10th, Austin Hill. 11th, Brent Holmes. 12th, Eric Cross. 13th, Chase Prudy. 14th, Tate Fogelman. 15th, Spencer Davis. 16th, Chris Wright. 17th, Tyler Hill. 18th, Danny Bowen. 19th, Spencer Boyd. 20th, CJ McLaughlin. 21, Dylan Lupton. 22, Carson Hosvar. 23, Tanner Gray. 24, Drew Dollar. 25, Brett Moffitt. 26, Howie DeSavino the third. 27, Jennifer Joe Cobb. 28, Corey Roper. 29, Zane Smith. 30, Jack Wood. 31, Haley Deegan. 32, Keith McGee. 33, John Hunter Nemechek. 34, Tyler Ankrum. 35, Chandler Smith. 36, 
Sheldon Green in 37, Chris Hacker. All right, the Xfinity results from Las Vegas. And your winner from this race was Josh Berry, second. Justin Allgaard, third. Noah Gragson, fourth. Austin Sindrick, fifth. Daniel Hendrick, sixth. Brandon Jones, seventh. A.J. Allmendinger, eighth. Ty Dillon, ninth. Justin Haley, tenth. Harrison Burton, the rest. Ty Gibbs, Brett Moffitt, Bailey Curry, Tommy Joe Martins, Matt Snyder, Landon Castle, Ryan Teague, Kyle Weatherman, Ryan Vargas, Blaine Perkins, David Starr, Brandon Brown, Man Mason Massey, Josh Williams, Spencer Boyd, Jay Buford, Matt Jaskel, Matt Mills, Jeffrey Earnhardt, BJ McClade, Carson Ware, CJ McLaughlin, Riley Herb, Sam Meyer, Dylan Lipton, Jed Burton, JJ Yelly, Alex Lab, Jeremy Clements, and Joe Graff Jr. And now the Cup Series results from Las Vegas. Your winner, Denny Hamlin. Second, Chase Elliott. Third, Kyle Busch. Fourth, Martin Truex Jr. Fifth, Brian Blaney. Sixth, Tyler Riddick. Seventh, Brad Kozlowski. Eighth, Kirk Busch. Ninth, Kevin Harvick. Tenth, Kyle Larson. The rest, Joy Logano, Matt Mendetto, Austin Dillon, Chase Briscoe, Daniel Suarez, Bubba Wallace, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., William Byron, Eric Almirola, Ryan Newman, Michael McDowell, Alec Bowman, Ross Chaston, Chris Bell, Chris Boucher, Eric Jones, Anthony Alfredo, Ryan Priest, Cole Custer, Corey LaJoy, Cody Ware, um, Justin Haley, BJ McClellan, Quinn Half, Garrett Smithley, Josh Bleakey, Joey Gase, and JJ Yelly. All right, so there's your NASCAR results from the weekend. Now I'm going to do news and notes from the weekend. Um, a lot of stuff to get into. That's why I was trying to get out of the, uh, um, the regular segments. Um, Something funny. Um, David Letterman crashed Nets Media Day today. Um, and he said to Kevin Durant, why do people call you KD? That's silly. Um, an NFL trade this morning. The uh, Carolina Panthers acquired CJ Henderson from the Jacksonville Jaguars for Dan Arnold in a third-round pick. I like the deal a lot for Carolina. CJ Henderson changed the scenery. Um, really wasn't all that great last year with, with Jacksonville. I guess... He just didn't want to be with Urban Meyer. Um, Urban Meyer didn't want him. And plus, the Panthers had a need at that position with J.C. Horn being hurt. C.J. Anderson, I think, would be a great fit there. And that makes that secondary a lot better. And with Horn back, when he comes back, that secondary has a chance to be lights out. And then for Jacksonville side, um, Arnold is somebody that... Um, Really was not utilized by Sam Darnold in that offense. Um, he's just a veteran. And getting a third in the deal, too, certainly is the sweetener there um, for the Jags. And um, now it depends on how Carolina does the season to be uh, dependent where that third-round pick is. So um, a very interesting trade, more likely – to work out on the Carolina side then, so on the Jacksonville side. Josh Norman was hospitalized out of precaution after the game, after spitting up a blood due to a chest injury. That's not good. Hopefully Norman's fine. Devontae Adams says, I'm different, as he has a simple answer on how he was able to come back into the game after that brutal hit last night. Tua Tungavailoa on the injured list and will miss at least three games of the broken ribs, and that was including yesterday's. And Jacoby Brissett will start until he returns. Christian McCaffrey out for a couple weeks due to a hamstring injury, and then uh, rookie Chubba Hubbard will be playing in his place. Russell Westbrook wanted Bradley Beal to leave the Wizards as he tried to convince Beal that they should both ask out of Washington, but be able to decline. More Wizards news. Rui Hakamura out indefinitely due to personal reasons ahead of training camp. As the Wizards give him an excused absence. The Ben Simmons drama continues. As Simmons told teammates he did not want to play or didn't want to meet with them after they planned to fly to LA to talk with him. Jesus, this is going to be a saga. 
Warriors to sign Avery Bradley. Um, not a bad signing. Good role player. Played in a lot of good games. Um, no Golden State deal for Isaiah Thomas as he's in search of a new team. As he's had a strong week of workouts with Golden State, but no deal. Manu Ginobili joining the Spurs staff as a special advisor to basketball operations and focusing on player development. There's a ton of Los Angeles star power at the Rams game. LeBron, Carmelo, Draymond, and Dr. Dre all pulled up together to see the Rams take on the box in L.A. And obviously it makes sense LeBron being there. He's buddies with Brady, so... Um, It makes all the sense in the world. Jimmy Graham shares a brutal Bears stat as he retweets brutal stat about how anemic Chicago's offense was against the Browns. So the Jaguars had a 109-yard kick six before halftime. Jamal Agnew ran it back, which was a missed field goal. And Gus Johnson, you guys got to see the highlight, absolutely loses his mind in typical Gus Johnson fashion. Blake Martinez out for the season with the torn ACL. Brutal loss on defense for the Giants. Um, We talked about that loss yesterday. They had a ton of injuries in that game. So that's just absolutely brutal. And they're all in three and... Now everybody's calling for Joe Judge and Dade Gettleman's head. I think Joe Judge is a little premature. He's a year two coach. But Gettleman should have been fired two years ago with Pat Shermer. Aaron Judge has a dislocated finger, but the Yankees are optimistic that he'll be all right moving forward after uh, dealing with that injury sliding into second base against the Red Sox last night. Um, And they popped the finger back in. I think Judge will be okay, too. The guy's a warrior. Um, if he's out, the Yankees are are cooked. I'm sorry. He as the Yankees go, he goes. And he him and Giancarlo Stanton have been carrying the load this month of September. Um so the NHL preseason got underway on Saturday. I think we'll do NHL preseason at some point this week. We'll get into it. But Riley Sheehan had a backhander, and it was the first goal in preseason Seattle Kraken history. So that was pretty cool to see. Kevin Hayes playing for his brother Jimmy. Um, As Kevin Hayes shares how his brother supported his hockey career, I don't think my life will ever be the same. Obviously, Jimmy Hayes passing away about a month ago. Um. Sylvia Foles won the Defensive Player of the Year in the WNBA, the fourth one of her career. Fans still want Sue Bird to retire as the crowd chants one more game to Sue in hopes that she does not retire. That was, I'm sure, an emotional moment for the Storm fans that lost yesterday. Ohio State linebacker Kavong Pope dismissed after a rant and there was an in-game sideline outburst and there were tweets sent shortly after. Aaron Rodgers wanted a trade to the 49ers as that was his top choice if he had left the Packers this offseason. Lyle Collins attempted bribe as an ESPN report said that the suspended tackle tried to bribe the league's drug test collector. And the NFL to reinstate Josh Gordon as he is able to play as early as week four. Two fans die at Petco Park, a 40-year-old woman and a two-year-old son, as they fell off the third-level concourse. That's very sad. Thoughts and prayers to them and their family. The Rays clinched the AL East on Saturday with the win over the Marlins. And the Rays teased a Montreal move as 
The president of the race says the team will add an outfield sign at Tropicana with a very simple Tampa Bay Montreal graphic. Hmm. We talked about the Cardinals winning their 16th straight game. Um, Marcus Stroman has high praise for Juan Soto as he says he's the clear-cut best hitter I've ever faced and will go down as one of the best players ever. Spencer Rattler ignores home fan booze as um, he was booed after an interception after their narrow win against West Virginia. As he says, he doesn't listen to them that they're not on the field. The NFL handed out 94000 in fines for unsportsmanlike conduct and taunting. In week two. So that's crazy. Hockey trade. The Blues trade Zach Sanford to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Logan Brown and a conditional pick. That's an interesting trade. Change of scenery for both those guys. Unsigned restricted free agent skating together. Ottawa's Brady to Chuck and Vancouver's Elias Pedersen and Quinn Hughes are skating together while they await contracts. That's something that's going to be hanging over those teams' heads, especially in Vancouver because it's two of those players. Nike reveals official pictures of NBA Dunk Low colorways for the Bulls, Knicks, and Nets for the league's 75th anniversary, so that was cool. Kevin Love rips to, uh, Jerry Colangelo, and he says, F him. As Colangelo suggested that Love was too out of shape to play in Tokyo. Giannis Antetokounmpo says that he's not the best in the NBA and he enjoys being a hunter. I'm still hunting all the all-time greats. LeBron is still the best. Hmm, I don't know about that, Giannis. Andrew Wiggins denied vaccine exemption. As Wiggins had a request for religious exemption for the COVID shot. And can't play home games in San Francisco until vaccinated. So Andrew Wiggins um, might have to get vaxxed. Because San Francisco has that strict rule. Patrick Williams sprains his ankle and will be out four to six weeks. That is somewhat of a loss for the Bulls as the season is going to be underway in a month from now. So they might be without Patrick Williams to start. Ryan Reeves, new Rangers forward, has high expectations for the team. He says the team is capable of winning a Stanley Cup. He says, I wouldn't have come here if they weren't. That's interesting for sure. I'm not sure if the Rangers are equipped to win the Stanley Cup this year, but you never know. We would have never would have thought that the Vegas Golden Knights were equipped. And the Canadians last year, and I'm referring to Vegas uh couple years ago and obviously Montreal last year but you never know maybe uh there'll be a surprise rep in the final again you never know there usually is a surprise rep in the final sometimes there's not and in Dallas a couple years ago you can go on and on there's a ton of them all right last but not least my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel um I'm sticking with Dallas. Um, I'm all in. The last of the Fab Five picks. Um, I just feel like this is a um, very statement game for Dallas. The show, who's the class of the NFC East? And it's them. And not... The Eagles, not Washington, Dallas. So two units on the Cowboys, minus three against Philadelphia. All right, there you have it for the show today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping the Monday Night Football game, Major League Baseball. Look ahead to tomorrow's games in baseball. We'll do the NFL trade value tomorrow. We were going to do it today, but we didn't have time. We'll recap Dancing with the Stars. WNBA playoffs we'll talk about as well. And news and notes and best bet for you tomorrow as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.